name is Katie Boren. I'm going to walk you through a full body, full Katie Boren fitness workout today. We'll get started with a warm up. We've got two circuits and we're going to finish with a core finisher. I will walk you through all of it. Very simple to follow along. All you need today is your mat. We're going to start with a warm up. Start sitting up nice and tall. Give an inchworm to a shoulder tap six times. Walk it out. Find your high plank. Shoulder tap, shoulder tap, and walk it up. We've got five more. Warming up the core, warming up the hamstring. Keep your hips still and walk it up. Great, give me four more. All the way out. Tap, tap, all the way up. Three more. And last one, we're going to stay in our plank after our shoulder tap. So walk it out, give me tap, tap. From here, you're going to pike your hips up, reach your right hand to your left foot, and then back to center, left hand to right foot, back to center. Ten like this, each side. Good. Three. Four. So from all fours, you're going to extend your right arm to your left leg. Bring your knee to elbow and then extend. Knee to elbow and extend. We have ten. Here's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Excellent. Other side. Left arm, right leg, knee to elbow, extend. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Return to all fours. We're going to warm up those glutes, those hips. We're going to take 10 fire hydrants and 10 donkey kicks. So follow along. That right knee opens out to the hip level for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Donkey kicks. Knee to forehead, kick it back. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Right into the left side, fire hydrant. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Nine and ten. Donkey kick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Let's stretch that out quickly. Nice child pose stretch here. We're going to continue on all fours. This time we're going to go into a bear plank. So. I'll demonstrate what that looks like. You're back in your tabletop position. You're going to flex your toes into the mat. Knees are going to lift. They're about an inch off the floor. Shins parallel to the floor. From here, we keep our right foot flexed. Bring your right knee towards your chest. 
and kick it back as though you're pushing the wall away. We have 10, let's go all together, right knee in for one, kick back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Right into the left, keep those knees lifted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, shake that out once again, that one burns. All right, we're gonna come all the way up to our bellies now. We're gonna take back up. So I really want you to care, be careful to not take this in your lower back, focusing on our upper back here. Your, four, your name is going to be on the mat. We don't want any crunching of the neck. Legs are gonna be nice and stretched, hands behind your head. We take 12 back ups just at the bottom of that rib cage, and then back down. You can follow me, lift it up for one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more, eleven, and twelve. Whew, good. All right, we're going to flip over onto our side now. We're going to start the side plank clamshell, so you're on your elbow, knees are stacked on top of each other, heels are in line with your hips. You're gonna open your knees as your hip comes off the mat, and then everything will close together. We'll take 12, follow me, open those knees for one, two, good, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more, eleven, and twelve. Good, we're gonna stay on this side. You're gonna lie all the way down. Your head's resting on your arm, legs are straight. My right hand is in front of my chest for support. We're gonna take 12 Grombot Mons or big kicks. You're gonna point your foot as you go up, flex it as you go down. 12 times, go with me, kick it up for one, bring it down. Two, good, three, stable core, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, almost there, last two, and one, good. Last thing on this side, you're going to come into a side plank on your elbow now, so both legs are straight and extended, elbows right underneath your shoulder, top hand is behind your head, we're going to take one elbow tap to the mat, and then one hip dip. We're going to go through that sequence ten times, starting with our elbow, tap it down, one, and dip. Two. Good. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And last one. Ten. Whew, good. All right, got to swing it around. Everything on the other side. We're starting with those side plank clamshells. So, on your elbow, knees stacked on top of each other. Knees open, hips lift. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Last two. And one. All right, up next, slide all the way down. Legs are straight, belly button to spine. Point up, flex down, we kick for one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last two, and one. Beautiful. Last thing to do on this side, side plank, elbow taps with a hip dip 10 times through. All together, we tap and dip. Two, three, four, five, six, good, seven, eight, 
nine, last one, and 10. Okay, okay, just continuing on. We're gonna come onto our back with some bridges today. The bridges that I want us to do will be single leg lifts in a bridge. You're gonna roll out, find that glute bridge. Your knees are hip distance apart, your inner thighs are engaged. Shoulders are pressing down away from the ears. You're gonna lift one leg parallel to the floor. You're gonna raise it up to the ceiling, and as we lower, just like we did, we're gonna flex through our heel, find the fire in our hamstring, really engage the back of the legs. We're gonna do that 12 times on one side, 12 times on the other side, and then we'll place our hands underneath our bum, roll our spine down, both legs in the air, 15 double leg lifts, all right? Then we'll stand it up from there. So, starting with our single leg lifts and a bridge, roll it up, lift that first leg, we bring it up, for one, flex down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last two, and one. Hips stay lifted, transition, other side. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, almost there. Last two, and one. Great, both feet on the mat, hands under your bum, roll your spine down, both legs in the air, 15 double leg lifts. Drop them down, and up. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Five, almost there. Four, three, two, and one. All right, hug those knees into your chest. Give them a squeeze. We're going to find our way up to standing now. We're going to finish off this warm up with a lateral lunge to a standing crunch. So I'm going to have you place feet together, hands behind your head. You're going to step it out to your lateral lunge, send that right knee right over that right foot. Hips are back as you stand up, crunch that opposite elbow to knee, step it out, crunch and twist. Do this 12 times each side. Feet together, hands behind your head, right foot steps out. One, and twist. Two, three. Four, almost there. Five, warm up's almost done. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last two, and one. Beautiful, adjust if you need to. We go to the left, step it out. Lunge, twist, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last two, and one. Whew. Good, All right? Shake that out. Last thing we're gonna do for this warm up. We're just gonna do a squat, but we're gonna come up to releve as we rise. So what that means. Bottom of your squat, you're going to come up with those heels, find your balance with your core, hold for beat, and then bring it down. We got 12, and then we'll wrap this warm up up. So take that squat stance, squat to elbow 12 times, drop it down, and up. Two, heels lift. Three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so our first circuit is going to start on the mat. We have four exercises. We're gonna do 12 reps of each. We got two rounds of this circuit. So I'll give you the exercise, we'll do it all together, and then I'll show the next one. Our first exercise, I call it a single leg lift and a bicycle crunch. It's a lot of words, it's very simple. You're going to place your right hand behind your head. Your right elbow and right knee connect. Left leg off the floor, shoulder blades off the floor. From here, you're gonna maintain the elbow knee connection, left leg lifts, all the way up, all the way down, all the way up, all the way down. 
We'll do that 12 times with the left leg, 12 times with the right leg, and then I'll walk you on from there, all right? So on your back, right hand behind your head, right elbow, right knee connects, left leg lifts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, last two, and one. Other side, left elbow, left knee, right leg, lift, lower, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, last two, and one. Good. Excellent. All right. Next one is going to be a bridge exercise. We're going to build off of what we did in the warm-up. I'll show you what I mean by that. So in the warm-up, we took our single leg lift. Remember, all the way up, all the way down. This time, as we take our leg lift, we're going to push off of our supporting leg and add a jump to it. So it will look like this single leg lift with a jump. Hips go up, control the lower. Hips up, control the lower. All right? Really focus on making that landing soft, control the lowering of your hips. If this exercise is too advanced for you right now, go back to what we did on the warm-up and we'll start to build up from there. We got 12 reps each side, just as before. Hips are lifted. Let's start that left leg extended in front of you. Here we go, lift it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, last two, and one. Beautiful, let's transition to the other side, right into it. One, bring it down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, almost there, nine, ten, last two, and one. Woo! That was rough. All right, our next exercise is going to be a side plank pipe. I'll show you what that looks like. You're gonna give me a high side plank. My right foot is stacked in front of my left foot, so I do have both feet on the floor. Right hand is high. I'm gonna pipe my hips, reach towards my left ankle, so I do have a rotation. Then I'm gonna come back to my high side plank. Reach back and return. If this bothers your wrist, take it down to your elbows, give me the same. All right, either way, we got 12 each side. Let's get into it. Find that plank, pike it up. One, return. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, last two, and one. Whew. Let's swing it around. We gotta go to the other side. Right into it. Pipe those hips. Reach back. One. For a turn. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Six, 
shake all that off. Grab some water, catch your breath. We're gonna go through this circuit one more time. Then we have our second circuit up next. So, when you're ready, we'll start all together. Again, our first exercise was that single leg lift and a bicycle crunch. Then we have the bridges, the single leg lift with a jump, side plank pikes, and then that lunge with the four heel lifts. All right, let's get round two started. Quicker we start, the quicker it's over. Just kidding, right elbow to right knee, left leg lifts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last two, and one. Other side, lift. Two, three, four,
Feet are nice and wide. You drop those hips to knee level. We lift our heels right, left. Two, three, four, five, six. Excellent. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Come on up. The tricky part is to keep those hips down. You want them down the whole time. Up next. You're going to go into a jack sit up. So I'm going to have you lie all the way on your back. Right hand will be overhead. I'm going to sit up, bring my left foot to meet my right hand, and then open back down. I'll do that 10 times on one side, and we'll go 10 times on the other side. So starting with your right hand high, left leg lifts for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, and one other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. All right, this next one is going to be a bit advanced, so I will offer modification if this isn't for you today. But we're going to come into a side plank on our elbow. This top hand can just rest behind your head. You're going to pick your top toe up so it's at your knee. From here, you're going to extend, straighten that leg straight up, and then bring toe back to knee. Straighten it up, toe back to knee. If that's too much for you today, both feet down. We're going to just take 10 thread the needles to still focus on those obliques and to strengthen this form, all right? Otherwise, we got 10 to bell pays in a forearm side plank each side. Starting with that right toe, bring it up to your left knee, and we extend. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Beautiful, we swing it around the other side. Find that stable forearm plank, lift that toe up. This is a passe, we're gonna extend. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Beautiful. Shake that off. We're going to go back to the beginning of this circuit. Go through everything one more time. Once again, we started in that wide second position, alternating heel lifts. Really challenge yourself. Try to keep those hips down the whole time. Keep them at knee level. Let's get right into it. Finish off round two of circuit number two. Drop those hips. Lift those heels. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Whew. Good. Good morning. All right, bring it down. We got our jack sit-ups. Ten each side. Starting with our right arm overhead, left leg. Bring it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. Other side. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Excellent. Side plank. Either thread the needle or develop pay. Your choice wherever you're at today, but we got ten of them. Starting with that right leg, pick it up, extend, or thread. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Whew. Never gets easier. All right, other side, last time, we got it. Take that toe up, extend or thread your needle. One. Two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, all right, get yourself out of that. Again, grab some water, shake all that off, and catch your breath. That was the end of our second circuit. Now we just have our core finisher to get through, and we'll be done. All right, so we've made it to the end. I like to finish all my workouts with a core finisher. Today we're gonna do a two minute finisher. It's gonna be four exercises, each one for 30 seconds. I'm only gonna get through it once, and we'll do a quick stretch, and that'll be it. Our four exercises today will start with a bridge march. So you're gonna roll up to your glute bridge. You're gonna keep your hips there, and for 30 seconds, you're gonna give me marches, alternating right and left, keeping those hips where they are. Don't let them stack. 30 seconds there, then we're gonna bring it into 30 seconds. Giant scissors, try to get that elbow to the outside of your knee each time. Big movements with the leg. To finish, we're gonna take 30 seconds in a forearm plank. We're gonna do alternating knee taps. So you're dropping that knee right, left, right, left. 30 seconds, and then from there, we'll go into 30 seconds of alternating oblique taps, side to side. Doesn't have to be too high. And then we'll be done and we'll stretch a little bit. All right, you can follow me along easily. I'm gonna get us a timer. 30 seconds, each exercise, that is it. We start with bridge marches. We go in three, two, one. All right, let's do it guys, 30 seconds. Final push. Think about how you're Lifting that leg off the ground can create power, tension with your own strength. We got about 10 more seconds here, then we'll take it into our giant scissors. Get that elbow to the outside of your knee. The legs are straight and strong. We go in three, two, one. Hands behind your head, straighten those legs, bring that elbow outside your knee. We got about 15 more seconds. Our last minute of work will be done in a forearm plank. We start with knee tap and we finish with oblique tap. Try to keep that back nice and flat. We flip over in three, two, one. All right, here we go. Forearm plank, last minute of work. Alternating knee taps. For this forearm plank, I want your fist in front of your elbows instead of being clasped together. Challenge yourself a little bit here. We got 15 seconds left. Our alternating oblique taps will be next. Our final exercise in 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, alternating oblique taps. 30 seconds, last 30 seconds of work. And then we'll drop down to our knees, meet in child's pose. Almost there. Excellent guys, we got 15 seconds. I am right here with you. Oh, we're so close. 10 seconds to go. We got it, we got it, we got five, four, three, two, and one. Let's all drop down to our knees, fall back, take a child's foot stretch here. Excellent work, you guys. Whew. Hope you feel strong after that. Enjoy this moment to stretch. Make sure you're taking nice, long, deep breaths. From this child's pose, press up and take your downward dog. Pick those hips up to the ceiling. Just walk out your heels. Stretch the back of those legs. Good. Send that right foot high. Bend the knee. Open the hip. Get a little stretch there. Then we're going to thread it through. Right foot steps forward. We're going to fold the triangle. Bring that forehead to your shin and getting into the back of that right leg. Good. And just step back into downward dog. Do the same thing with the left. Left leg high. Bend the knee. Open the hip. Thread it through. Left foot forward. Stretching and fold the triangle. Grab behind your calves, let your head be heavy. Just hang here and forward fold, let gravity do the work. When you're ready, take a slight bend in those knees. Slowly make your way up to standing. Give a couple shoulder rolls. And 
guys have done excellent work. I hope you enjoyed this full body workout. Um, there will be more to come very soon. Thank you for following along. Go stretch.